Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the female reproductive system. Okay, and it is a complex network of organs and structures which is responsible for the reproduction, hormone production, and the menstrual cycle. And it helps in the process of conception and the pregnancy. And it will helps the body to prepare the prepare to uh, conceive or hold the pregnancy. But before going into the learn about the female reproductive system in detail first we will know the about the reproductive germ cells which will help for the uh, pregnancy or conception of the pregnancy so see both the male and females will have the reproductive germs which is called the gametes okay so the male gametes is called spermatozoa and female gametes called ova and this will carries and it will have a specialized uh cells which uh, carries the genes and the chromosomes to the next generation during fertilization spermatozoa and ova will fused to form a zygote okay and this zygote will embeds in the wall of uterus and there it will grow and develops and it will take time of the 40 weeks gestational period okay and this will be takes place in the womb of the uterus of female and this will produce the young ones so this is about the reproductive germ cell now we will see the uh, female reproductive system okay for means it consists of external part of the reproductive system and the internal part external parts contain consists of vulva labia majora labia minora clitoris vestibule and hymen whereas internal consists of ovaries fallopian tubes uterus and vagina breast is the necessary organ but which will comes to in the reproductive system now we will see the one by one external genital genital area actually known as vulva because the the all the external genital contains in the vulval area so this is the this part whole part is called the vulva and this called the mons pubis or pub uh, mons pubis and these two parts are the thigh region part and this is the anal region part okay so this two, uh, vulva is located in the pubic region of the body and this will contain two large folds forming the boundaries of the vulva so these are the boundaries of the vulva which is called labia majora okay the la labia majora anteriorly it, this part is anterior and this is the posterior okay and anterior it will fuse to form a symphysis pubis so this area is the symphysis pubic region and posteriorly it, it will folds here and this part is called the perineum okay this is the labia majora and labia minora this this part is called the labia minora okay this is the tool uh, folds of the skin between the labia majora and it will merge at the anterior region to form a clitoral hood okay and there is a space which present here okay this is the space where present in between the labia majora that is called the vestibule and this is the opening which present at the anterior part it is called the okay and above that it there will be the small space on this one is called the clitoris okay and this is the urethra and this is the vaginal opening okay in the vaginal opening there is a small layer will be present hymen okay it is an unfolded skin okay this will be ruptured during later stages so this is the picture of the external genital organ of the female reproductive system okay which consists of like vulva means uh, the whole area is called vulva vulva consists of external organs such as uh, labia majora labia minora clitoris vestibule urethral opening vaginal opening hymen these are the parts of the external organ um, about clitoris it is a small sensitive organ located at the top of the labia minora okay it is a rich in nerve endings and plays a significant role in sexual pleasure and it is corresponds to the penis in the male now we will see the internal organs organs internal organs consists of ovary fallopian tubes uterus vagina okay this is the diagram how the uh, uterus looks like okay 
I mean internal organs. So this is the or this is the uterus. Okay, this area and this part is called this one is called the cervix area. Okay, cervix. So cervix will attach to the uterus. Okay, this is the whole body is uterus. Okay, and this upper part is called the uterus fundus, and this whole it this one is called the uterus. In this uterus will consist of three layers. Okay, and this one is called the perimetrium. The lining of the uterus is called the perimetrium, and the uh, after that there will be the myometrium. So this this area is all called the myometrium, and the internal layer. This a, a layer is called the Uh, endometrium okay this is the endometrium where the uh, embryo will embed embeds in the uterus and in the endometrium region okay so this is about the uterus and these are called which is called this long tubes is called the fallopian tubes so this is called the fallopian tube the parts of the fallopian tubes are three parts are there so this till here it is called the isthmus okay is the mus and uh, from here to here this part is called the ampulla and this uh, like fimbria like structures are there no this part is called infundibulum so uh, when the uh, this is the uh, through vagina the sperms will enter okay so this is the ovary okay this this part is the ovary when the ovary will produce the ova this ova will be captured by the infundibulum and the ova will carry through this fallopian tube where the the sperm is also will carry from here so the zygote will be form here in the ampulla part of the fallopian tube so the fusion of the ova and the spermatozoa will takes place in the ampulla part of the fallopian tube this is the can come as a bit okay this is about the uh, internal part of the things so we have talked about the ovaries fallopian tubes uterus and the vagina so this is the vagina opening of the uh, into the cervix that part is called the vagina where it will be open so here this is the vagina so from here we enter means this is the internal view of the internal organs of the reproductive system i hope you people understood this is the view of the external genital area of the reproductive system the below picture is the internal organs of the reproductive system this is the side view of the re female reproductive system in front it is the urinary bladder is located and the back side it the rectum is located so till now we have seen the anatomic anatomical part of the female reproductive system so what is the function of the female reproductive system means first is the formation of ova okay this will form the there will be formation of ova in the ovaries and the second function is uh, reception of the spermatozoa so the through vagina so the uterus will uh, receive the spermatozoa that are sperms okay this is also one of the function and uh, another function is the provision of suitable environment for the fertilization and fetal development so it will produce the uh, suitable environment for fertilization so fertilization will takes place in the ampulla part of the fallopian tube and fetal development means the fetal will development will takes place in the uterus so it, it will produce suitable environment in the uterus and the uh, saturation function is saturation what do you mean by saturation saturation means action of giving birth to young ones okay so the weeks which are means here only the young ones will be developed so saturation means giving birth to the young ones this is also one of the function of the reproductive system and lactation okay i have already told you that breast breast is the accessory organs but it will one of the part of the female reproductive system so the, fu the function is the lactation giving milk to the young ones so these are the functions of the reproductive system this video have discussed about the anatomy and physiology of reproductive system in brief okay we will meet in the next video till then take care bye
If you have any doubts regarding the topic, pin me in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts.